Hello and very warm welcome to Swift Tutorials. In today's video, we are going to learn about trailing closers. So let's start. I already created a tutorial on closers, and you can get it from our video library. And regarding trailing closers, let's go to the Apple documentation, and here it's written: if you need to pass a closer expression to a function, is the function final argument and the closer expression is long it can be useful to write it as a trading closer in set so here they gave an example they, they're just telling that if your function has a closer parameter as a final argument or parameter to your function the final parameter to the function is a closer and the closer expression is too long then you can use it as a trailing closer so like here here you can see they have written a closer and so when they are calling this function they are calling this closer like here now if they move this braces and the name here you can see that this is a trailing closer so let's have an example I am opening up the project I created for the last tutorial and so let's create a trailing closer first and so let me do it here and let me make it more sensible so and here we have okay so this is our empty screen now okay so here I'm going to write a closer a function with closer so here let's say function and here I would say function with trailing or with closer and here parameter will be name for example and it will be a string okay and the return type will be nothing so here we will say this and here a closer will be a completion handler okay so there it is and here we will write our closer and here okay it is returning nothing so we will say void here now if our closer like in the apple if our final argument of the function is a closer so here we have the final argument of our function is a closer here you can say this is a closer okay so, so we met the first condition of a trailing closer and now you can say that if and the closer expression is too long since at this point we don't have any expression or parameters that our closer is transmitting or releases so let's say it's a test one of type string okay the second parameter is test2 of type string and let me add this to our parameters because Xcode gives an error for this so here yeah. now here we say test3 so test3 is of type string and also one more test4 of our type string okay so now let's call our closer and here we have this and here we will pass the four values that our closer is giving completion handler is giving so here we say one and here we will say two and here we will say three and here we will say four okay right now let's call this in this is our view did lot so I'm calling this function here so I will say function with closer and here we will say a parameter just name name okay and here I have a completion handle closer so when I select it and press enter it's giving an expression like this so here I will say c1 or c2 c3 and c4 and when I print it here print uh, c1 is equals to 
this C1 and comma like here and let's copy this and print all our four characters or strings so here C2, C3 and C4 so let's change it C4 goes here for 3 3 2 2 okay so this is the one thing that is we normally calling the closer okay you can see it here like we call all other closures like same so this is the same thing that we are calling our closer so if I run the app you will see here that we get uh, control here whenever we the completion or handle gets called okay here it is now let me delete and here we have a function with closer call and here you can see c1234 so now let's see what a trailing closer as the apple documentation says that a function with last argument as closer and is having too many expression inside the closer okay here say a trailing closer uh, is expression too long is long so here it is so we have two conditions and we are satisfying two conditions here that uh, completion handler having for uh, too long params so this the only one condition required for a trailing closer that the closer is the last argument to your function okay so here this is a one way now to make it a trailing closer let's see function with closer and let me type here name and here instead now completion when I ta tap or oh, press enter then you can see this type of thing okay what I'm not doing like here let me tap and you can see I can pass uh, variables or names here and then use the so now let's undo it and now to make it complete uh, make it a trailing closer uh, what I will do I will just delete it and make this thing like this and here we will have one brace here one brace here so this is our trailing closer so this block is a trailing closer and now here I will print because our closer is sending four values so we can print our four values like this here let me copy this and here we have this and so we can access those values using the dollar shorthand so here dollar dollar uh, zero sorry dollar zero and oops, oops, oops. and here I will say dollar two and here replacing c with dollar and dollar sign so here it is dollar sign okay so now let's run okay oh sorry sorry this is one because it's one it's giving error because we say one two three zero two three four say so two and it's three so here it is now the errors will go so here you can see context global type sept four okay so we are sending four perms and here it is. so now let's run and you can see the trading closer works so this this closer is a trailing closer so this is a way you can write a trailing closer so here it will goes here okay and here you can see all our values will be printed as we print it and now it's come inside the trailing closer so here it, it will print the same values so this is the trailing closer and how we can make a closer a trailing closer so the basically a trailing closer is nothing is a part of a closer but is is making line of code smaller so we don't need to pass these arguments and suppose because I am writing it C1, C2, C3, C4 suppose you have too many arguments so you will skip this part and just use this thing so this is a trailing closer for you if you have any question then please feel free to comment and 
if you like this video then please do give it a thumbs up and do share this video and if you are not subscribed our channel then please subscribe to our channel so that you can get future updates for our new video release on swift 2 swift 4 thanks for watching and have a nice time bye for now